Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Curve. This time, we're going to be playing through Resident Evil 3 on the PC. Now, I have beaten this game a total of five times so far. Once on Standard, four times on Hardcore, and once on Nightmare Mode. But this is the first time that I'm actually going to be playing through with it on PC. Let's see how good we do. We're going to go for that Hardcore right off the bat. I love this game. It's not as good as some of the other ones, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked out conscious. He had some blood. Citywide emergency has been declared. CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. Official can't say. Commitment, honesty, integrity. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. That is what I call an intro. Now, I will be completely honest with you guys. I know that this game got a lot of good reviews when it came out, and I know that there were some people on the internet that were bad-mouthing it, saying it was trash. I don't think it's a bad game. I do think that it has some crippling flaws when it comes to some of the other Resident Evil titles. And namely, if I had to be honest, I think this is just one of the easiest Resident Evil games I've ever played in my entire life. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. So we're looking at David Lee Roth or something on our uh, wall. Who is that? I don't know. But we are Jill Valentine, one of the only survivors of the mansion incident at uh, the Arclay Mountains from the original Resident Evil. And if we walk around her apartment right here, it starts in first person mode, just like RE7, which... I really like I love re7 but check this stuff out right here man so now we're taking control of Jill Valentine the protagonist of the series you can see all kinds of stuff going on here where she's been doing research on uh, you know what's been going on with uh, the incidents she's got umbrella right here she's trying to tie into what's happening and I think I could be wrong but I think that's the in alpha e parasite which is what gives nemesis who would otherwise be just a normal tyrant all of his you know superpowers now this is a cool photo this was in the original resident evil 2 and it's just uh the stars members by a helicopter you can actually make out who they are here too but let's go ahead and continue on with the game so if we go this way walk into her bathroom we're gonna be greeted with something kind of weird she's left the water on for some fucking reason but uh she's also left her gun in here fully loaded as we're about to find out oh my god she's bleeding Oof. She's turning into a zombie, guys. This is kind of fucking crazy, right? Of course, we all know it's just a dream sequence. I do think that it could have been done a little bit better. There's only two of these in the entire game. Uh, but I do like the incorporation of first-person modes, just like in Resident Evil 7. Anyways, Jill is freaking out here. She's turning into a zombie, getting all this weird black and bloody red stuff in her, on her body, and... Well, she, uh, guess what she does? Yep. Don't do it. Okay, do it. Fucking hell. Yes, pretty hardcore uh, dream. Hey, what's that dog? I didn't know you had a dog. It's a picture of a dog on her desk. Who's the dog? All right. So, as we all know, if we've just any sort of little inkling of Resident Evil lore in our brains, Jill is trying to get the hell out of the city because there is a crazy outbreak going on right now. And uh, if we cut this light on, we can see normal Jill Valentine. One of the things that I think 
worked out really well for Resident Evil 3 Remake was the option to use different costumes like right off the bat if you pre-ordered the PS4 version, which I have beat this game several times on PS4. By the way, gorgeous, right? Like, they have just really, really scanned the actress into this game perfectly. I don't know how they were able to come up with such photorealism, but the RE engine is powerful, man. September 28th, 8.07 p.m., Raccoon City. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Oh, shit. Uh, that's bad news. Damn, that's a brutal kick, by the way. It broke some of her ribs, maybe? <laughs> Jesus. Now you know, if that dude was coming after you, it would be a pretty bad situation. Jeez, God. I have played this game multiple times and still this encounter with Nemesis at the very beginning is... It's pretty intense. The only issue I have with it is that it's like one long cutscene. But I'll tell you, honest to God, like, at the beginning of the original Resident Evil 3, one of the reasons that I actually never really got into the PS1 version, it's it's kind of, uh, like, they don't really tell you what's going on with Jill. She just comes through a big fiery area and does this crazy dive, and she's on her way. So, I know that she didn't encounter the nemesis quite yet in the original. Oh my god, he's got a tentacle! So that's that N.E. Alpha Parasite thing I was talking about. You better cut that shit off your leg, girl. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... I do like the idea of actually seeing what happened to Jill, like, right before she burst through the window in RE3, even though this isn't canon. Nothing is canon, dude, in Resident Evil. They've changed everything up so many times. The N.E. Alpha Parasite... I'm pretty sure they're going to tie that back with RE4 for the new remake for that, which I actually think is a good idea, but anyways, we are on our third or what fourth uh, altercation with Nemesis right here, just trying to get the hell out of an apartment complex. By the way, you ever realize that there's like nobody else in this whole apartment complex whenever Jill is running from Nemesis? Uh, it's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> anyways, we got to get the fuck out of here because he is trying to kill us. Stars. He has one of the last remaining Stars members. Uh, he wants to get us because, well, that's Nemesis' whole deal. Umbrella has sent him to shut us up because we survived the mansion incident and we've been blabbing our mouths too much. Anyways, let's go on out here to the street and we're going to meet another Stars member, Brad Vickers. You okay? What was that thing? Tim if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. Oh, Brad. This all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. Sigourney Weaver reference right there to Alien. Top Gun, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Other things. Oh my god, a helicopter! Hey, hey, wait. hey Brad, didn't you fly one of those? Where's yours, buddy? Oh god. They're not wearing a mask! We're supposed to be wearing two now, Brad! Run! Oh my god, look what COVID has done to them. Shit, I hope I don't get tagged right here. <laughs> On keyboard and mouse, I say it a lot. It's very different from a controller, man. Door behind you, go. Hell yeah, boy. I'm going. I'm on my way. Oh, shit. What's going on? I'm attacked. Knife to the head. Don't think about it. We're going to make a run for it. Come on, Jill. 
We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Man. I'm sorry. I gotta be real with you. I like... T Is that a reference to PT? The Silent Hills demo? How do I never notice that? TP? It's not toilet paper, is it? Unless this really was based on the COVID pandemic. <laughs> Alright, so our first zombie is going to be right here. They're going to give us some instructions on how to use the gun, but... Uh, I'm uh, not going to... Oh, shit. Not going to do that. I'm just going to go right here, wait for this thing to fall, crawl underneath it. Oh my goodness. So... I do like the way that they gave Brad a little bit of a more heroic end in the remake, but I will say honestly, the way he dies in the original Resident Evil 3 is classic. And I just, I wish they would have done that because RE3 from 1999, man, that is a classic game. wonder what it would have been like if we were to actually get away on this chopper, but that's not what's going to happen in here. Oh my god, you ugly dude! Get the hell away from me! Alright, and you've got this fat zombie right here that's like banging on the uh, glass trying to get the fuck out. Let's see. Ooh, shit. Back when they brought up the pause menu. I don't remember how we're supposed to do the... Uh... Oh, that's right. Hell yeah, I got away from him. <laughs> Man, I've, I've been bitten and beaten right there so many times. It pisses me off. Anyways, uh, I was talking about some of the costumes at the beginning of this run. I really do like the classic outfit they let you have if you... Uh, I think I had to pre-order the PlayStation 4 version to get that. Either that or the Stars outfit. I actually don't really care much for her... Uh, RE1 Stars outfit in this game. I like it normally, but in this game, it's not as good as I think the 1999 outfit. 2021's probably my second favorite, though, to be completely honest with you. And Carlos, man, he gets different hair, all kinds of shit. <laughs> all right, helicopter. Oh my god, you have Independence Day resurgence yourself out of my life. Damn, that's the second time she's been, actually, like the third or fourth, she's been like blown against something. Oh, God, we got this Master Blaster-looking motherfucker coming our way. Get out of my car, buddy. He looks like a zombie, doesn't he? It's not just a body. All right, so... Oops, space bar. Oh, shit. Getting Halloween 2 vibes. It's my turn, bitch! Jesus. As much as I don't like a lot of these uh, QTEs, you gotta admit, cinematically, this is freaking incredible. Girl, you have had a rough ten minutes. <laughs> Hell, the whole fucking apartment complex blows up, you get thrown about all over the place, Brad got eaten by zombies, and now Nemesis is, like, trying to kill your ass after you run a car into him. And one, again, I gotta stress, man, for Resident Evil 7 onwards, the graphics for these games look incredible. Nicole Tompkins, the actress that uh, plays Jill now, really, really cool how they got her likeness, like, perfectly into this game. Now we gotta back the hell up, because this dude is on some Terminator shit coming our way, and... Don't just toss that thing, man. You could probably use it later on. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Carlos. I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe.
So that is just the opening of RE7. From here on forward, we're going to be uh, I think we're in the clear. deep in the game. I hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. More alien references right here. Uh, Dipshit to close this. Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's on yours. <laughs> man, I... Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Look, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on. I'm right here, buddy. <laughs> you know, I really do wish that they would have given Carlos some more of his uh, personality from the original game, though. I will say that. He's hilarious in the original game. His accent's a little over the top, but <laughs> he's, uh, he's pretty cool. All right, let's get introduced to some more side characters. Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need all to right. Do I'm noticing some not as up. good... Uh, Oh, shit. Went the wrong way. Not as good graphical uh, look. Shit. <laughs> I don't even know how to say this. It doesn't look quite as sharp as it does on my PlayStation 4, which uh, is probably because I'm running OBS and had to set this thing in 1080p because 4K just... It's not so much that I don't like 4K or anything like that, but, dude, it is a bitch to upload to YouTube. I can render it out fine, but... Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. All right, green herbs. Uh, let's pick all that shit up. We've got some gunpowder. There is some crafting in this game. And let's see, how do we do this? Oh, it's tab. Okay. So... We're going to go ahead and combine this to make some gunpowder, and we're going to combine this to make a full heal. Or, not a full heal, I think, but, like, a better heal. All right. Oh, shit, I should have waited. I got a red herb right there. All right, and two is our gun. So we got to come back for this when we've got the lockpick, which hopefully I'll remember to do. 
our first little puzzle thing, even though it's not a puzzle, is this. We've got to find the green gym, red gym, and blue gym. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it is. And once we do that, by the way, we should have access to uh, some more goodies. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put away that as well. Um, just to make sure I have as much inventory space as I possibly can. Um, did I miss something? Let's see. Making sure, making sure, making sure. No, looks like we're good. Um, in some versions of my playthroughs, I've been able to get, like, I think a bonus pack right there, so I'll have more inventory space. But regardless, we're going onto the streets of Raccoon City. This dude's smart. He dives in there to get the subway, and, uh... We've got, uh, they've got our first zombie right here. That is, uh, gonna be a pain in the ass. But anyways, pretty sure I can... Yeah, I'm gonna go past him. That was easy. <laughs> so I don't know who got killed right here, but it was pretty fucking serious, man. There's a couple of zombies up here that we gotta... Damn it, he got me. Fucking asshole. Okay. Oh, he got me too? Damn, I'm already hurt, man. <laughs> That's not looking good. Um, I don't have any regenerating health either because of this game. Uh, I have, like, the tokens and everything on the version that I'm playing because I've beat it so many times. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, man. I, I really wish that they could actually give that personality back to Carlos. Alright, so basically we need the fire hose right here. We're gonna go get it. We just got to uh, get past some of these zombos right here. They have broken down the barriers. And this is actually pretty cool about Resident Evil 3. So back in the original version, the first thing they introduced that, you know, became more action-oriented, I guess you could say, is red barrels. Now... Nowadays, everybody knows what red barrels do, and guess what? They do the same thing here. So, got that taken care of. Go ahead and reload. What is this, gunpowder? Yep. You would think that the gunpowder would fucking explode, right? <laughs> if it's, like, right next to all that fire, but, uh, nah, not really. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead right here and get that. So, that'll zap these zombies just for a little while pick up some more handgun ammo and I think there's some more shit over here gunpowder right now the further you get in the game the more that this stuff becomes just super easy especially I've beat this game so many times that it's kind of like just second nature oh I'm on danger we're gonna examine this and what do we got in the box a red ruby remember we were oh what well, jewel whatever remember I told you that we would need those when we would uh traverse along our path to uh freedom okay so we're gonna go ahead and combine this because i'm looking pretty sickly um oh take that out and i'm gonna take it all right now we're back to full health anyways we're gonna get out of the kitchen we're gonna go this way and we're going to go embark on our journey to fight the nemesis and uh all that good shit so where can i go oh yeah right here now we just need to grab some of this handgun ammo, and there should be a slew of dudes. Damn it! I thought for sure I could dodge that dude. Alright. Crisis averted. <laughs> okay. Oh, going through here, and there's going to be a dude right here. Bop! to make sure I think we got oh no we didn't got him that time you don't mess with Jill okay so here's our fire hose that we've got to go put the fire out with and if we go in here we've got to return to this area but uh, we've got some stuff that basically tells us that we need the bolt cutters to access the shotgun now 
Go here, grab some more gunpowder, grab a grenade. That'll come in very handy later on. So I'm going to go ahead and combine this. And I'm actually going to keep one of these absents because I want to make some shotgun shells later on. But all right, we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way. This must be the subway company's offices. Basically, we need to cut the power back on. Nothing. Without the power being on, just like in Jurassic Park, we can't uh, get the system back online to get everyone to safety. Anyways, going out of here, we're going to go to the left, and we should have access to a little gun shop that will... Or not a gun shop, but like a little... Actually, is it a gun shop? I don't know. Uh, this little store right here with a big fat zombie... Gotcha. This is going to be... Got that. Got that. High-grade gunpowder. So, we're going to go ahead and combine this to make shotgun shells. And if we go this way, we've got a cool little puzzle thing right here. Aqua Cure with this girl looking like Sindel from Mortal Kombat. If you were real, I would call you, girl. 957. So, those are just a little clues and hints for a puzzle that's later on. Look at this, by the way, too. A car came through here and somebody died. I don't even think they were a zombie. Anyways, we're going to go this way. What was it? 937. Okay. So, to progress further, we're going to need to remember that little code and use it right here, actually. It's pretty close. And this is what I'm talking about with Resident Evil uh, 3 Remake being a little too easy. I mean, honestly, it's it's the easiest Resident Evil game by far. Alright, 937. So, we're gonna go... 9... Oop, fuck that up. Damn it! 937. Oh, space to confirm. Damn it. It wouldn't have even been right if I got it the other time. <laughs> oh, God. So we've got this little site that we just combine a lean dode. And we've got some more gunpowder. Oh, God. Actually, I cannot take any more. Oh, shit! Should have heard that fucker. Oh, God. Let's run out of here. And we're already back in the danger. No worries. There should be a red herb up here. I would have been trailing through this thing with... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Zero uh, injuries? Not zero deaths, of course, but like zero injuries? I don't know. Uh, red herb? Yeah, buddy. All right. We're going to combine it with that, and we're actually going to go ahead and use it. And we're going to equip our gun back. Yeah, I don't know what it is, man. I guess it sucks that uh, I'm a console gamer or whatever people will say about that. Most of the time, I do like playing on PlayStation 4. Uh, but when I get the PlayStation 5, it'd be cool to stream that for all of you guys. Especially all the other Resident Evil games, too. Um... So we've got that taken care of. We're going to get the ladder right here. We're going to go right down here. And... Where are we? We can put the fire out right there, but just a second. I'm actually going to... Should I go back just yet? Nah, we're going to wait until we get the bolt cutters, actually. Uh, I was going to go put that red jewel where it's supposed to go, but that can wait. Uh, we're going to go right here. Yes, yes, yes. I know how to use a key item. All right. There. That was pretty easy. So, that allots to, what, like, ten minutes of gameplay if you know what you're doing? Got the bolt cutters. And once you go this way... Is someone in here? Someone is in there, Jill, but we're not going to go fuck with them just yet. So... We've got the red jewel. We've got some bolt cutters. I think if I'm not mistaken... Let's see. 
Uh, yeah, right here. I actually barely ever go this route, by the way. Usually I skip this. Um, I don't even know what it gives you. Oh my god, my inventory is full. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. Well, hold on a minute. Is that high grade? Alright, we're gonna combine that. And then check this shit out. We're going to do that. Ah, I got a free space. Okay, so... There's probably like a, uh, what is it called? A, why can't I think of it? First aid kit in here, by the way, too. We got the blue jewel. So, and they're going forward. Oh, shit. Usually I don't carry the knife with me. Yep, there is a first aid in here. Oh, well, we'll be fine without it. So, we've got two of the jewels so far. What is this, by the way? Lockpick. Oh, God. There's a little foot zombie right there. <laughs> All right. RE3 is a really beautiful game. It's it's really well done in my opinion. I think the things that really really do hurt this game are just the fact that it's too fucking short and to be completely honest with you, it really is the difficulty. Like, I was playing through Code Veronica yesterday, and... Man, that game is, like, way harder. Now, I will say that Code Veronica is... Oh, I didn't even grab that. Code Veronica is not as good as some of these other games. Uh, which is hard for me to really accept, because I really love the aesthetic of it. But check this out. We put the jewels in, and they're going to give us a little something-something. So we got a grenade here. All right, and we're going to put in the blue jewel, and that should give us... I think this is a way more simplified version of the one from the original RE3. Ooh, stock for the shotgun. Hell yes, which we don't even have just yet because uh, <laughs> we didn't go get it. So, I'm going to put the knife away, man. You don't need the fucking knife. I'm going to put the knife away. I'm going to go get that first aid, and where is that zombie? All right, buddy. Hello, don't mind me. All right, got away from him. Uh, yeah, it's just, the game is not what I would call like, oh God, he did bite me right there. I thought I could get away from him. It's not what I would call terrible. Like I've heard a lot of, come on dude. I really do think that it's just weird that they changed so much of the original game when RE3 is so iconic to so many people. I mean, they got rid of the Gravedigger, they got rid of the church, they got rid of a lot of stuff regarding Nemesis and how he looks. They actually radically changed that. Um, how can I get there quicker? Uh, I guess this way. Let's go get the shotgun before we go any further because we are going to have to deal with what is called drain demos in a little while and uh well they're kind of a pain in the ass to say the least all right got that taken care of now we're gonna go straight through here zippity zippity zip okay um right here to the kite bros railway and we've got to come back here anyways after we cut the power back on so we can do the the weird puzzle thing where you have to you know, get everybody to safety on the train, on the civilians they've already got. Anyways, now we can use these. We've got ourselves the shotgun. One thing that I will say is very fun about this game, and probably why I like it so much and have played the game, like, a numerous amount of times, this is a... It's, it's a faster-paced game, but... Oh, God, I don't even know how to... It, it, it plays so casually. Like... You don't really, you don't need to be an expert with this game to really just hop in and, and start having fun with it. Watch this. <laughs> I wanted to pop his head, but uh, uh, looks like that wasn't really uh, working. All right, you gotta line it up pretty good, but when you pop a zombie's head, it's like one of the, <laughs> it's so fun. We'll get a couple of chances right here. So where's that guy? Come on, I know you guys are in here. Got one. Where's the other one? 
Jeez. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The Resident Evil series got me through 2020 pretty damn well. I played through Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, Resident Evil, uh, Re Resident Evil 4 RE5. I even played through RE6. And, uh, of course, Resident Evil 7. Uh, some of Code Veronica, some of the older games uh, like Resident Evil Remake and uh, even Revelations and Revelations 2, but I, I was playing those games non-stop last year. Uh, it's kind of weird that none of them really resonate as well with me as the uh, first two on PS1. Even though I'm not great at those, I love them so much, but this is a good series all around. I'm quite satisfied with it. Don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not in effect. No, 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 wait, please! Was that guy Scottish? <laughs> what the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars be soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Hmm. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. We have just been introduced to the antagonist of Resident Evil 3. And that would be Nikolai. He works for UBCS, which is obviously Umbrella, like Carlos, like Mikhail. But this dude is on some extra shit, dude. He's, he's not exactly what I would call a... Uh, he's not on the up and up. Anyways... We're going to go through here. UBCS suicide note. September 28th. The Middle East. Eastern Europe. East Africa. I thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack no matter what was thrown at me. But this job? This one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage and I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only gets worse. And if that was just the beginning, maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. That's fucking cool, dude. So this poor bastard killed himself after the UBCS got swarmed, which you don't even see in the game, man. Like, they really did cut a lot out of this remake, which, whatever. I mean, it is what it is, right? So I'm actually going to keep the shotgun out because right here, we got some four-legged friends that are... Kind of hard to deal with, uh, otherwise. Alright, now, I think on Nightmare Mode, these zombies actually are uh, infected with the N-Alpha-E parasite that Nemesis has. And like I said earlier, I really do think they're going to tie that back into RE4. I mean, I know they've talked about that, but I, I didn't really think they would outside of that stuff that they had in, like, the trailers. And the very end of the game, which no one really talked about, but... They have, like, Nemesis possessing the Las Plagas stuff that I'm sure you've seen, like, little crab legs and when he gets, like, in his final form. But anyways, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Ooh, get in there, girl. All right, so we've just got an autosave right there, and next up we're going to cut the power back on for everyone to get out of Raccoon City safely. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Clayton Fioriti here with Dragon Curve. Hope you all do well. Hope you all have a great day, and as always, take it easy.